Well, Norman's happy. We accomplished a little bit today on the trailer. Say hi, Norman. Hi, hi Norman. Norman. <laughs> he accomplished something today. Every time we bring my, bring my friend's weed whacker, though, man, because this place is filled with weeds, and the weeds have grasshoppers everywhere. They hop, hop, hop right up my pussy is where they go. Ain't that fucked up? But, yeah. This is where Dave lives. This is his property. This is where he's keeping my trailer. And I didn't know this guy from Adam, man. I call him my angel because he just came around to nowhere on Facebook. And because everybody wanted to charge me for their time to drive down to Dickinson, which is like an hour away where I bought the trailer. And plus they wanted the $200 for gas. I told David, I said, I'll give you $200 for gas, but I can't, you know, I can't pay you for your time. He didn't even want the money for the gas either. He just turned it away. And then he said, well, where are you going to keep it? You know, where are you going to store it? And he said, well, you could store it at my house. And this is, this is his place. He has his own business. He's like yeah. a project manager. Yeah, he's a project manager here in the oil country. But he's from, uh, like, around Kentucky, Missouri, something like that. He's, he's from down south. He actually is a single father. His, he has a daughter. His wife or his girlfriend left the baby on his doorstep. Can you believe that? And this guy is just such an angel. And he's adopted just like me. I mean, and we he's talked. Polish. He's and he's Polish. Polish. This is like, he was just really, you know. And he's big. Yeah, he's a big dude. When I went to get in his truck, his truck was so high I couldn't get into it. He came over with his shoulder and just boosted my ass right into that 350. I was like, damn, buddy. And I was so nervous with him that I talked the entire way down to, to Dickinson. And I talked the entire way back. The only time I didn't talk was when I was, um, when he was hooking the trailer up. <laughs> but yeah, I talked my entire ass off to this guy. And I felt so sorry for him. I, I, I should have had the left side of his face switching by the time I was done with him. He must have thought I was a total fruitcake. But, yeah. Yeah, there was no thought about it. There was no doubt. He knew she was a fruitcake. He knew I was a fruitcake. Well, he still keeps answering the phone. Yeah, he likes oh, me. Oh, he did ask, hey, you're a computer hacker. Can you ghost me? Make him, yeah, make him Can disappear. I told him, yeah, I said, but you're going to have to use phony names. And I, he never got back to me. I told him I could ghost him, but he's at the to sit down and work with me. But the thing is, he's he's really busy. He works a lot, but he takes care of that single daughter of it. You know, that daughter is. And she's back in Missouri or Kentucky. Well, he's somewhere from down there. I think it's Missouri or something like that. Mississippi. But uh, that's where his daughter is, and she's a nurse, and he sent her to college. But I think that's so funny that they left... He left her on the on his front step. I'm like, holy cow! What how many mothers do that? But I've talked enough. Facebook. Goodbye.